Brawler X. What the hell is Brawler X? For the fans of my custom rule set for Doom Eternal, Brawler Mode, and the more infamous Brawler Plus, there's a new PC mod for The Ancient Gods Part 2 that enforces the rules and brings the authentic Brawler experience to your mouse and keyboard. And Brawler X is a new variation that uses the hammer as your sole ammo source. We're gonna look at how Brawler Mode works in Tag 2, look at the installation process and strategies you're gonna need to survive. And of course, that logo. Ervosa is back with another gorgeous piece of Doom art, capturing the brutal feeling of Brawler X. You can check out the merch store and grab a t-shirt. She does get a cut of the sales, so you're supporting her work as well as mine on this channel. If you need a recap on what Brawler Mode is, you can watch this video here. I'll just say that Brawler Mode is designed to encourage frantic in-your-face action by lowering your health, armor, and ammo, taking away some of your long-range options, taking away most of your options to eliminate enemy weak points, and taking away most of your panic buttons like Ice Bomb and Super Weapons. Brawler Plus is just the Brawler Mode rules, but with the elimination of the Super Shotgun and Meat Hook, creating a much more in-your-face experience. You'll be able to use the Meat Hook on the Meat Hook points of Tag 2, but not on the enemies, so you're not going to be flying up into the air and cheesing with rockets. The true Brawler experience is Brawler Plus, so if you want the real thing, you gotta go with that. How does Brawler Mode work with the Ancient Gods Part 2 and the Hammer? Well, the hammer pulls me in two directions. Part of me wants to ban it, because it throws off the ammo balance and it stuns enemies, which is the reason Microwave Beam was banned. But the other part of me wants to keep it because it plays into the brutal, in-your-face combat of Brawler. It plays off glory kills, and it's just such a big part of the feel of Tag 2. So I decided to keep it, but with a change. It now takes double the amount of glory kills and weak points to recharge. That's 4 glory kills and 4 weak point breaks, which are mostly done through blood punches or precision rockets. You're gonna have to work hard for this thing, and since your health and armor are so low, you're gonna want it. Also, the hammer pickups have been left as a half charge refill to make them feel special and more like tactical pickups to be saved for desperate moments. Now, Brawler X. It's the same thing as Brawler Plus, but there's a twist. There's no chainsaw. Brawler X starts you with the unupgraded hammer, and now the only way to get ammo back is through hammer use. It's weird, at first I didn't like it, but I quickly came around by the time I got to the first escalation encounter, and this is a real rush. The hammer becomes less about stunning large enemies and more about identifying groups of enemies to smash, so you can maximize your ammo refill, like you would do with a flame belch for a big armor refill. And you're working hard for this hammer, needing 4 glory kills and weak points to recharge. There are 4 files on the Tag 2 Brawler page. Two for the regular Brawler and Brawler Plus mods, one for Brawler X, and another for Rules Enforced. All of them work with Tag 1 and Tag 2. That's right, you can play Brawler X in Tag 1 with the hammer. If you are playing any of these three Brawler mods on Tag 1, you need to include the Rules Enforced file with it to make sure it gives you the Unmaker and the Microwave Beam for the specific parts of Tag 1 where they are allowed. However, the Rules Enforced file is not necessary for Tag 2. In Tag 1, with rules enforced, since the Unmaker is allowed in the Trial of Malagog fight and the Seraphim fight, you are given the Unmaker in those encounters specifically, but it is taken away when you're not in those encounters. However, if you want to play Brawler with custom master levels or other user-created content like Randomizer, the rules enforced file needs to be taken out of the mods folder or it can cause problems. And make sure you don't load any normal saves while the Brawler files are installed. They could crash your game. Don't go anywhere yet, we need to look at the Tag 2 specifics of Brawler X. Armored Baron weak points can be broken with a rocket, chain gun, or mobile turret, and a well-spaced full auto. Stone Imps can be stunned with a remote detonation rocket and set up for an easy full auto kill, and remember that micro-missiles are also good against them. If you see a Mancubus, you should see him as a hammer refill. Use the hammer immediately for the ammo, double blood punch to break both weak points, or single blood punch and a rocket to the other weak point, or single blood punch and full auto to the weak point, and then set up a glory kill. That's three-fourths of a hammer recharge right there. Revenants can also be treated as hammer refills since they have two weak points. Arachnatrons fit beautifully into this with a very reliable combo of hammer into blood punch for the weak point and a single rocket puts them into glory kill. That's half a hammer recharge. You need to pause for a moment after the hammer hits before you break a weak point, or it won't count towards the recharge. 
Ammo pickups become much more valuable, so you want to keep an eye out for those. Full auto shotgun also becomes a bit more important in Brawler X, because if you can't get ammo from anyone with a chainsaw, you want to execute heavies intelligently using full auto, so you'll at least have a supply of shells coming in when you've run out of everything else. Shield guys go into glory kill using remote debt rockets. Blood makers die to a single rocket to the head now. Work on your micro missile rocket quick swapping by just holding the fire button and weapon mod button. And remember your falter setups into blood punch. And also falters into full auto headshots on maker drones. Savagery is a must use rune because you'll be glory killing constantly. It's the one downside of Brawler X, I have to admit. It's a necessary evil to create the pressure needed for this mode. These new brawler mods actually start you with air control, savagery, and blood fueled, but go ahead and change them if you want. Make sure you're using plasma to balance out your ammo use between hammers, and use plasma to set up glory kills. You don't want to waste your precious heavy cannon rounds on fodder demons, because mobile turret is going to be a lifesaver, and micro missile rocket quick swaps are going to be your go-to source for heavy damage. Marauders will falter with a well-spaced base fire combat shotgun, and then use your grenade to extend your combo into full auto or micro-missiles or rockets. You'll want to learn multi-falter setups on super heavy demons as well. For example, on an arch file, you start with an opening soft falter with remote detonation, and then toss a grenade as you start attacking. The grenade will detonate, causing a hard falter so you can keep attacking, and then a blood punch will hard falter again, and you can kill. An Armored Baron's weak point can be broken, and as you toss a grenade into Mobile Turret, it'll falter him, and then switch to Full Auto and Blood Punch him when he gets close. Be very careful with Spirits, especially if you're playing Randomizer. There's no Microwave Beam, so if you have a possessed Caco Demon, you might not want to kill it while there's a Marauder and a Doom Hunter running around, because you definitely don't want them getting possessed. I swear, Brawler X is the new hotness. I'm crazy about it. It's like nothing I've experienced. Play it on Tag 2, take it into Tag 1, and once you've mastered Brawler X, load up Randomizer and experience real pressure. Lightning Break and Zazman, I'm talking to you. A huge thank you to Convaz for creating these mods for me and dealing with my endless requests for changes and experimentation to get this thing right. I've been testing this thing for weeks now, and it feels really good to finally get it out into the public. If you're watching this on launch day, I've coordinated with many Doom Eternal streamers to play Brawler X, so check out the list of streams posted in the pinned comment below and there's a good chance you'll see him playing it today. And thank you again to Ervosa for the awesome logo. Now everyone go have some fun.